How's it going YouTube? Welcome to another drawing video and today I'm going to go through some tips on how to draw a dog. Let's get to it. So I placed down a marker base establishing the basics of where the dark and light tones are and the direction of the hair. This really helps to define where blending with the pencils is needed, making the task of drawing a far smoother process. When moving on to the eye, it is all about layering and establishing the lighter ring around the pupil and bringing it forward by darkening the edges around the entire structure. When trying to achieve a realistic finish, it is vital to use a high quality image. It will allow you to distinguish the smallest details and give you the most aesthetic result. It also has to be said that drawing convincing hair or fur is actually quite difficult. However, with a bit of practice and persistence, anyone can do it. The nose is done in a similar way to the rest of the face, with many layers and an attempt to get the smoothest blends possible. I also go around the piece, blending the colours, removing white paper grains, and of course, ramping up the contrast. I'll try to get the neck area as dark as possible to give the piece a bit more depth. Another vital attribute to eye drawings is the highlight. This gives a spherical look and illusion of moisture, further adding to the realistic effect we are after. The hair around the neck is obviously longer than that on the face, so be sure to incorporate this into your drawing. Towards the end of the process, I try and smooth all the colours together and ensure all areas that exist on the reference image are accounted for. That's it from me, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time with more creative content.